Greetings everybody. Briefly, I want to talk about harmonics and mainly the harmonics that exist right down here at the lower part here. So to get a harmonic, you just lightly, 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 you don't push down, you just barely, barely lightly just touch the string and then you can take your hand away. So in this case here, I'm right at the double dot and right on the fret above the double dot. Barely touch it and it creates a harmonic. Harmonics also exist at the 7th fret, the 5th fret, 4th fret, all the way down here now. But down in here they get it squished. So there's actually hundreds of harmonics right in here. So check this out right here. So, so I'm going to start off here at the 4th fret, harmonic on the top string. And if I get it open, it's okay. And then I'm going to come down here to the second fret, just above the second fret, and I'm going to start hitting harmonics and slowly go right back up to this fifth fret here. So this is the way it sounds. fun can be had just by randomly attacking and smacking those harmonics right down there. to show you this little um, strumming trick here. So take your index finger, flatten it as a bar over the 12th fret. Complete bar. Make sure they all ring. And then with your ring finger, we're going to hammer on only the middle string so that the top, top and bottom strings are still held in place by this bar here. We're only going to curve this finger here so that it only touches that middle string. And then we're going to just sweep pick this thing and then hammer. It's like one motion, like you strum down and then you just hammer on. So, and then I just give it another upstroke and then like a slap. So watch how useful this is in just like any kind of a blues thing, like... Even in the open. So try that. Let me know what you think. And don't forget, on May the 4th, we're giving away this number 300. Information is in this video in the corner up here or in the video description below. All right, and so this example, same thing, we are going to gang up with our one finger bar here at the 12th fret. Now, this time here, when we hammer our ring finger to the 14th fret, we're going to include with that our pinky here on the 15th fret. We'll do it for both the high string and the low string. The high string and the low string. So this is a hammer, a double hammer now. So, um, and so you, what you do here at the 12th fret, you can also do at the 5th fret and the 7th fret and get some cool little rhythm things.
So have fun with that. All right, so here's a little trick. Take your low string and tune it down, out of tune just a little bit. Just slightly out of tune on the downside. That way you can stretch it to be in tune. back.